popcorn junkies, Shia LaBeouf invited us to a screening of Honey Boy. <laughs> no, no. We were invited by the producers to go and see a preview of this film, so we've seen it and they've asked if we could land this film this week because it's being released on Friday. Honey Boy. Honey Boy is the film directed by Alma Harrell, uh, based on a script written by Shia LaBeouf. Now, it's quite a complicated one, this. Yeah. Shia LaBeouf, as we know, would you describe him as a bit of a bad boy? Yes. He was a bad boy. He was a bad boy. He drank a lot, he did a lot of shit, he very naughty, a reputation for being difficult to work with. He had and anger he, issues. He had anger issues. What was that speech he gave on, online? Do you remember? What was that mad... Just do it! Yeah, yeah. Just do <laughs> Don't it. Don't hesitate, just fucking... Yeah, yeah. He's a man after my own heart with numerous addiction problems. Um, so he went into rehab and whilst in rehab, he had to, you have to do something when you're in rehab. I had to do this where you have to write your life story. And it's a process of going through the highs and lows and all the rock bottoms and everything, you know. And in writing his life story, it wasn't his intention. He wrote it. He's obviously friends with the director. She saw his story after he came out of rehab and she said this would make a great film. So they changed, they transformed his life story in rehab into a script. So it's essentially written by Shia LaBeouf, directed by the, um, Alma Harrell. But in the film, Shia LaBeouf is playing his dad. Yeah. Crazy ass. How did I did not recognise him. Maddie had to tell me it was him. Really? I didn't know it was him. It was that remarkable hair piece or hair that, of yeah, balding at the front. In Hollywood, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, in Hollywood terms, we've got a good week for the first time. <laughs> no, he, I mean, he did look unrecognisable, but his he eyes. Did. No, his eyes. You fall in love with Shia LaBeouf because you saw what recently? Peanut Butter Falcon, which Maddie hasn't seen yet. No. Um, and he was sublime in that, wasn't he? He was lovely. He was lovely. Sort of little renegade who's had takes. I just have the biggest crush on Shia. You used to, or you still do? Well, I mean, yeah, but like when he was younger and old. What is it about him that you both like? He's just so cute. You just want to hug him. You like a teddy? Yeah. A bit like a teddy bear. He is sweet, he's mental. Yeah, but yeah. But I love that he's kind of mental. <laughs> His yeah. eyes are so beautiful though. Yeah. He's got the eyes I want. I saw a photo on Instagram yesterday of him with Matt Damon and Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, I saw Did you that. see that? They look so cool. I thought, oh my God, I want to be in one of their pockets. <laughs> I certainly wanted to hang out with them. If I hung out with them, then I wouldn't know what to say. Shia LaBeouf didn't look like he knew what to say in that situation, actually. Um, okay, so you've got Shia LaBeouf. And then we've got two other of our favourite actors. So this is like a, a cornucopia, a mad fest of your favourite actors. We've got Lucas Hedges playing, so let's remind you, you've got Shia LaBeouf playing his dad. Yeah. You've then got Lucas Hedges playing the older Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, and older but younger, yeah. Old but younger, yeah, exactly, sort of, yeah. <coughs> and then you've got Noah Jupe playing little boy. Playing little boy. Oh, no, 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 no! Describe the first shot. Oh, yeah. It's such a God. wonderful opening, I mean, the, isn't it? It yeah, starts it with Lucas trailer, Hedges, doesn't it? I, was, yeah, the, I mean, this shot was in the trailer yeah, as yeah. well. And, like, from the trailer, like, <laughs> it's going to be brilliant. Show it <laughs> now. It's such an amazing shot. Yeah, it's Lucas Hedges by the camera, isn't he? He's yeah. Going, no, 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 no. Then he gets flung, ow, flung back. <laughs> Well, he gets pulled back on a pulley, doesn't he? Yeah. And, and so, and what I liked about that was... He's on a film set. He's on a film set, exactly. So because it's the story of Charlotte Booth's life, we're witnessing his... Basically, it's a film about his relationship, really, with his dad, isn't it, as a boy? Yeah. And we're flipping between 1995, Noah Jupe, to 2005, Lucas Hedges. And so it's Noah Jupe as a boy going through the torment and hell of being, you know, uh, with, his, with his dad. Uh, and then you've got Lucas Hedges going through rehab. So it's the sort of two ends of, in a sense, Shia LaBeouf's yeah. uh, life and career uh, as they stand at the moment. Mm. Um, and it was clever as well because I didn't feel like either of them looked like Shia LaBeouf. No. But their performance made yeah. you just believe that it was him. Yeah, 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 like absolutely. Lucas Hedges, I mean, it doesn't look... Yeah, again, less like Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, lesson for Scorsese there. This isn't about looking believable. This is yeah, about exactly. actors inhabiting that, the part. Yeah, totally just I think the viewer is far more willing to say that's a young Shia LaBeouf, yeah. regardless of how he looks, yeah. if if the performance is, is steady. We like magic realism in films, right back to the days of Beasts of the Southern Wild, where you'll have stuff that just happens, but it's more about yeah, emotion. You have the stuff going on inside the head. A little bit of that was in the Peanut Butter Falcon, you know, in the fight when he throws him in the oh, air yeah. and stuff like that. What I liked about this film was it had all of those elements, but they were parked within his experience of being on film sets. Yeah. So you'd have those scenes of like him dancing in the kitchen, Noah Duke, <coughs> and you'd have scenes of him being in a car crash. Do you remember that? And, and all oh, that yeah. Kind of, and then the car crash became real. And so I thought it was a really clever film at blurring the boundaries between, which must have been the case for Shia LaBeouf, mm. of what was real 
and what was fiction. Yeah. Did it make you think about how difficult it must be to be a child actor? Yeah. Oh, definitely. I've always thought it was there. But it, I think it's different because it's like, Shia LaBeouf was like a Disney star. Right. And I feel like child actors that, are, when, you're, when you're a child actor and you're more in like movies that are kind of like, you know, indie yes. films or yeah. you're in mainstream films, they're kind of okay. There's this thing of kids that child, child actors and Disney things, mm. I, I find it, I think it's a lot harder for them mm. because you've got all the kids looking up to them as well because mm. just everybody watched Disney Channel. There's like an there's an added pressure to people that are child actors in Disney, I think. Yeah. Because they're all seen as having to be role models. Yes. And having to be the person that all these new generations look up to. Yeah. When really they're just humans. It's like, it's the same with, you know, Miley Cyrus, she was Hannah Montana. Yes. And that's just gone mental. Right. And it's like, you're supposed to be a role model. And it's like, well, she doesn't have to be a role model. Yeah. Well, I do, a... I do think being, I mean, without wishing to sort of name drop massively, I mean, it struck me when we were on the set with Millie Bobby Brown, it must be very hard staying young when so much money and everything on such an enormously grown up level is geared to just you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it, I know we, we often sort of take young <coughs> actors who then become difficult to task, Drew Barrymore and what have you, you know, and you, it's easy to sort of take them to task for bad behavior, but actually it's a very, very odd situation to be in where you're told you're the most important thing. And I thought for me, this was where this film was most interesting was Noah Jupe and his relationship with his dad, with Shire. And I must have, I couldn't get my head, it was, it was a bit of a head F-U-C-K for me. It must have been for Shia LaBeouf playing his dad, acting with him as a child. Yeah. Knowing that the actor opposite him is playing him. Yeah. What did you think of the dad's, Shia LaBeouf's dad's relationship with Noah Duke? Did you hate him, like him, love him, resent I, him? I went through different yeah. stages, I feel, because it's like, I mean, obviously you hate him for some of the stuff mm. he does. Really hate him. He's not a great, he's not a good dad. No. But like, like, all clever films it kind of it made you see like the reasons as to why not not the reasons as to why he acts like he does well yeah but, it, but it is kind of like you, you do feel sorry for him I mean, you know we find out that he was an, he's an alcoholic he's well, a recovering him. alcoholic i mean yeah. i thought that was an interesting detail yeah. that actually his dad is when we meet his dad his dad's not drinking yeah. but he's struggling yeah. with not drinking yeah which i thought was quite a nice detail because you often get in films a drinker. He could have just been an alcoholic. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Just drinking and being yeah. a bastard. He was struggling as well to yes. be a good father. So yeah, it yeah, kind yeah. Of, it made you kind of feel more sorry for him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you jumped out of your skin with the. There was a oh, couple, a couple of moments. I'll cry if you talk about it. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm doing that. Oh no! Why? Why? The bit, you're about yeah, yeah. I jumped. The I dad. jumped out my skin. You did, didn't you? It was horrible because it because it was more horrible, wasn't it? Because he wasn't expecting it yeah. either. Who? No, Drew doesn't, um, no. Yeah. Yeah. And the way he does it, he does it once, you're like, oh my God, and then Slaps he does it again. Him. Yeah. And it's like, oh. Yeah, that was a really impactful film. I mean, you found the whole film almost unbearable, didn't you? On an emotional level. Yeah. It wasn't It wasn't inappropriate in any way, other than emotionally it showed. At points. Yeah, well, emotionally at points it was incredibly, it was just heartbreaking because you saw how much the boy was older than the dad. But also in, re in the real life of his, this is what's so clever about the film, I think. It's like a dream and yet it's so real. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is a bit dreamlike, isn't it? I feel like when I think back to this film, it's not often when I look back to a film, I'm seeing at the edges of all the shots, it's a bit soft focus and blurry, mm -hmm. like you're seeing yeah. it all through color and all kind of stuff like that. But um, then I also really liked how they showed like, I mean, they would be very, tiny moments but the kind of happy moments that they shared yes they wouldn't last long no but it was it was nice to not just show him being evil because yeah it, obviously when shy was growing up the dad wouldn't have just been, yeah you know they would have had the odd moment where they were getting yeah, yeah, yeah. and i like even if it was for the wrong reasons like mm. um but i think it, it was really it was really special to put those bits in like when they're playing cards yeah and at first it's really fun and everything then it gets annoyed. and it turns I know, that, that, but I thought that was really clever. And that scene where yeah. Noah Duke comes in and I think his dad's in bed. Oh, that's... That's, that's, a, that's, that's the, the scene, isn't it? And, and, and in a sense, you felt like... What I really felt was going on for the boy there was... It's that thing that I can really relate to, which was he, he knew he was going to anger his father with what, what he was doing and waking him up. But he wanted any attention was better than no attention. Yeah. Wasn't it? But remember, in that scene, it was first he imagines that he's telling yeah. the dad that that's he's right. upset about the way he that's is. That's right. And then... 
and then it happens in real life and then he mm. tries to tell the dad and then that's when but yeah. yeah the reason why that scene was so shocking was the dad was kind of acting as if he yeah. understood and yeah slapped yeah 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 face. it was like and was that the horror that's almost yeah. the horror I, I jumped out my skin i wasn't <coughs> oh god <laughs> And why did it upset you so much? Was it the fact, was it Noah Dupes realised? It was the way he started crying and everything. It was just like... I mean, Noah was amazing in this. Yeah. So amazing. He was. He's shocked. I mean, a lot of people are saying they think his, his performance... I mean, they, they're, they're crediting all of the performances, but it really is a showcase for... Yeah. I think one of the most remarkable performances I've seen by... Yeah. How old is he? 12? 13? He's 14. He's then 14. He was, when he, then he was like 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's quite a sophisticated performance. It is, yeah. I mean, that whole thing about his dad being his employee. Yeah, he you know, works for it, yeah, he works. And what did you think the dad's story was? Because the dad was what they call a rodeo clown. So he would be, a, yeah, he was a clown, he was a, but he wasn't a child children's entertainer. He was a clown at rodeos. He would do the kind of running around and all that kind of thing. So do you think there was a lot of frustration in the, was he living? I think there was jealousy. Well, yeah. Really for living vicariously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I thought, I also felt like there was jealousy. As well. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Although he was kind of proud of him, he was also jealous that that wasn't the house. Yes. But then there was that, I really liked that scene where um, they were rehearsing his, Noah's new script. Yes. Shire's new script. And uh, the dad was like telling him to do it with more like silly faces yes. and stuff. And they were acting it together and the dad was getting really excited. He was yes. like, yeah, it's perfect. And then obviously again, it totally switches. Switches. Noah doesn't do the right thing. I think those moments of sudden eruption, of, it really, I really related to it yeah. because I mean, that was the temper switches that I remember from my childhood. And I think anyone who has that sort of, you know, a parent who's an addict or an active addict, or active and white knuckling, not having got help, if you know what I mean. I, it, I thought that jangly, it did a really good job of jangling us in the same way that he must have been emotionally jangled yeah. as a boy. And I think that's probably what you felt, it was the shock of that. And it was also that other thing of you're desperately, it was such a good portrayal of the dad. You're looking for those bits that you like and love yeah. and you want comfort from and yeah. you want security from. So like, I really liked it when he went out to sort of, to kind of mis, he was kind of mis, he misjudged it, but he was trying to protect them from the women opposite and all that. Oh, right, yeah. What do we think of FKA Twigs from that strange She's, sort of... I really liked the relationship that yeah. her and yeah. Noah had in it. I was worried at first. Yeah, but you were worried it was going to go the same route as mid-90s. Oh. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> don't be inappropriate. But it didn't go inappropriate, did it? No, no it was really, it was, they just yeah. hugged and he gave her money. And then she went on. Yeah, and then I loved that bit by the pool where he was pretending to play. Oh, they were acting. Yeah, yeah that was oh, really cute yes. as well. Oh, yeah, they what were, were they doing? The oh, yeah, ball. yes, that's right. They were throwing the energy ball. I thought she was really good. She's so beautiful. I she is. Her. But she she added a really nice, like... Yeah, I didn't gentle. know if I entirely believed it. Yet at the same time, you figure perhaps this is exactly what happened. You yeah, know? but maybe it didn't happen. You know, it's no. Like magic but I do things. think I do think parking some kind of femininity within it was a good thing because otherwise it was quite you know you were quite claustrophobic and locked in just there kind of. In, there was always in, they were always in really small spaces, weren't they? I mean, everything seemed <coughs> quite in his tight. House, yeah. And that's why I think Lucas Hedges. I mean, Lucas Hedges was very. Much, I saw an interview with Lucas where he. I, I felt for him in the interview where he looked like he was almost slightly outside the heart of the crew like Noah yeah, G. Yeah, Did you see it? Seems where he and where they were kind of not ribbing him, but he was they kept saying, you kept asking a lot of questions. I know. Did you oh you've seen the same clip, yeah, it's yeah. on that yeah. And I felt for him a little bit because I think he I I, I came out and I immediately said I thought it was one of Lucas Hedges' best performances. Yeah, yeah, he was brilliant. yeah and I thought he because it was sort of, you, you, having seen him in an interview, it's so not what he is. So I think he really just wanted to better understand. Yeah, he said he kept asking the shy for questions. Yes. Because he really wanted to get it right. And then they were kind of just like... Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you asked a lot of questions. Yeah, and they were like, you kind of just need to jump into it. And, like, I think Shy compared him to Noah at one point. It was just yeah. like, you just need to jump into it like I Noah. Know. And I Lucas know. was just like, okay. I know, quite funny. A bit where Lucas said he's yelling in the... He's like oh, screaming. Yeah, he's told by one words. of the people. That oh were yes, really in the woods. Yeah. That was very was powerful. So it was, wasn't it? I like the scene when he was in the pool and he was being asked to kind of get rid of his. Oh yeah. <laughs> hug himself, funny. and they were like, "You can do this anywhere." He goes, "Well, you can't do it anywhere, can you? You can't just hug yourself anywhere." <laughs> yeah, that was just, funny. Actually, I think you'll find you can. Oh yeah, <laughs> and I could have done with a little bit more of that because I thought he's obviously got quite a good sense of humour about being in rehab. Yeah. And it, I mean, there's a lot that happens in rehab that's inherently funny. And the knitting thing with the chicken. Oh my God, you yeah, described that scene. What was he doing? Oh God, yeah, because. 
He was told to as, knit. It was part of therapy, he was told to knit. It was one of the last um, scenes and there was loads of knitting everywhere. Knit. Oh yeah, he just pulled it all yeah. apart, hadn't it? It was just everywhere. And there were chickens under the table. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. And yeah, I loved the constant like returning of the chicken because obviously yeah. with the dad's rodeo like show. show, there was always a chicken. Like, that's right, farm. that's right. Um, so it's I a very the simple film. Returning of the chickens yeah, in the like. rehab. Yeah, is that what you liked yeah. about it? It was very simple. Yeah. And, and, and short, yeah. I love a short film. It was simple, it was short, and also it avoided all of those, and I think this is why it's doing quite well on Rotten Tomatoes it, and with the critics, it avoided being obviously indie. It was of, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't just a photo, you know how you can almost get that photo fit Sundance film? Mm. It was It was all those things, but it was. it had its own voice and it had its own film language as well, you know, I thought the pictures, the way it was shot, mm. it was really interestingly shot. Um, it wasn't at all, and it wasn't at all syrupy or cliched, was it? No, I didn't think it was at all. Did you feel? No. no. What about at the end? So this I, is... also I liked the moment where um, I think it was Shyla, like Noah's um, stepdad, or was he a brother? Oh, oh God, yeah. that scene! He, he never wanted the dad to meet because he didn't think they'd get along, it and was... then the dad seemed to be getting along fine, and then just basically chucked him in the pool. It was so it shocking. It was so shocking. And you could see how embarrassed Noah was when he came oh, back. Oh, I felt for Noah Duke so much. I felt like, for the guy that he threw in. He yeah. was like a stepdad. It was like the father of yeah, the, like the father, yeah, father yeah. figure. And, and Oh, and the, the scene you loved where um, uh, Noah was talking to the mum on the phone. Oh, I loved the way they did that. <laughs> oh, how did they do it? He, like, he was on the phone to his mum and she was like shouting at the dad and Noah had to say what the mum was saying. That's right. He had right. to say what the dad he was saying. He acted it out, didn't he? Yeah, you? I loved the way they that did that. That was so clever, you're right. And the way Noah was like that whenever the dad was shouting. Yes, so, yeah, he, he so played angry, it so the well. Dad. He was like, get through it. And then he takes You're the right, I forgot that scene. That and then was... when the dad grabs the phone and Noah just walks out. Like, yes, <coughs> yeah. And that was such a good, I mean, you know, unfortunately having, you know, when I think back to the arguments with Izzy's mum, when she, you know, and all that, that's what happens. That thing of talking through the child. Yeah. And you're right, there was that, and I thought what Noah Duke did so well was there were scenes where he was acting a part, he was then being a son, he was acting being a son yeah. with, his, with his dad. Yeah. And he was trying to underact his control of his dad, yeah. i.e. he was his employer, you know, he was working for That's a really, really, really important scene, yeah. As well when um, Noah was acting on stage with someone. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Oh, the kid, yeah, when she was acting. When he was acting, there was a man playing his dad. Yes. He was being really lovely. And as soon as they stopped rolling, he looked like, Noah looks oh, so sad that don't. he doesn't have that kind of relationship with his dad. Oh. And there was also that shot like earlier on in the film where like him and his dad are walking, holding hands, and then yeah. somebody comes towards them and the dad just lets go of his hand. Yeah. And yeah. pretends that and it's so sad. And I was yeah. like, why do you never hold my hand? And I also thought it dealt very well with, of course, I mean, this is a spoiler review, you know, the moment that his dad does fall off the wagon. Yeah. It didn't just, you know, he wasn't just like a baddie and damned. Yeah. I mean, he, he was bad and it was wrong, but it, you know, I felt that you cared and yeah. you felt disappointment for the dad. That he, that he yeah, was, and worried about him. Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Which kind of was the reason why FKA Twigs became a sort of comfort blanket yeah. in a sense yeah. for Noah Jude, didn't you? And then I love oh. the ending. The, the ending? Yeah, when Lucas had yeah. returns to where they Following lived, the chicken. And yeah. the dad's the rodeo guy again. Mm. And there was that lovely moment where, well, a moment when they're sitting by the pool and he's like, I'm gonna make a film about you. And he goes, I'll oh, make sure you make me come across as oh, a good that's right. dad or whatever. That's right. Um, Do you think he does make, bearing in mind that Shia LaBeouf has in a sense now made a film about his dad, mm. how has he portrayed his dad? Uh, he, you didn't like him. Would being, you, did you no, like I did, no, I, 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 I agree with Maddie. There were points where you, did, you hated him and points where you were like, you kind yes. of felt sorry for him. Yeah. But, I wouldn't say he was a good person. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't a good person. He might have been a good person, but he was, hmm. he was a bad dad. Yeah, bad He was dad. a bad dad. Yeah. He was a bad dad. But also, you know, he was out of, con he was in recovery, clearly not dealing with it well, was having to look after him himself. Yeah. And he wasn't mature. No. And the well, you, and that's pre a prefigured by his first chat about weeing strongly. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and you're yeah. like, oh god, we're in this situation. <laughs> it's kind of every boy's worst nightmare to be told how fast or hard you can wee. <laughs> it's just like, or how high you can. But get I really it. <laughs> love the last shot, which is of um, you know, because we always see shots of Noah like leaning on his dad's back on the yes. motorbike, then the yes. end of the dad leaning on Luke's. Lucas is back. Yeah, oh, that's which I right. Was really that's cool. right. And that's yeah. how it ended. Yeah. And then they showed all the real photos in the end credits of uh, oh, yeah. that's Dad when right. he's the rodeo. That was a lovely touch. Okay, well, let's sum up. Do you want Maddie to lead? Yeah. Yeah, Maddie lead. 
I just absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved this film. Yeah. Like, it was so beautifully shot. And it was a really simple film. And I love when films that feel like they have to be overcomplicated. Yeah. And that they can just be simple. And yet it was quite... I mean, it wasn't overcomplicated, but it did a lot of complicated things. Yeah, you know, and film they managed sets, to make it know. simple. Yeah. yeah, so it was really clever. But I love the colours in it. Like, mm. I, that, that, you know, kind of the colours of the pool and everything, mm. I think. Uh, there was this, and there was just really beautiful little shots like when the, I don't know if you remember when FKA Twigs and him is sitting by a pool and there's like a snake in the pool. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It. And I thought I actually strangely thought that there were really nice colours within it as well. I don't. Know I if agree. Because when yeah, that's purple. Yeah, like yes. when the dad was, I think over when he was like overdose, you know, going back to the drugs. There was like really bright colours in the yeah. bathroom and everything. I thought Noah Jupe's performance was absolutely amazing. Phenomenal. Like, yeah. It's Phenomenal. like he was an adult, really. Like, his performance was... I mean, if there's any justification, there's been many child actors nominated for Oscars, thinking of Anna Paquin in The Piano, and The Boy From Wonder, I think, was nominated too. Um, if, if there's outdoors. any justification for a nomination, it has to be this. Yeah. It outstrips any of those that have become before. Yeah, literally, yeah. Yeah, 100%. I love Lucas Hedges. Yeah, so I do too. I you do. really needed them as well. It would have mm. been quite a... One it, note. Yeah, it would have been one note if it was mm. it. Yeah, and I loved the bit of him screaming in the woods and everything. Mm. And I thought it was one of Lucas Hedges. Forgotten the knitting scene, that's such a funny scene. <laughs> I thought that was one of Lucas Hedges', Hedges um, best performances. Yeah. Shia was amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. It must have been so hard playing his dad as well, yeah. especially like considering the relationship he had yeah. with his dad. Yeah. And I also thought that it was really nice that he could, because obviously he'll have a lot of anger towards his dad because of the way he brought him up. And it could have been really easy to just make him come across as yes. this evil man who just yeah. was a bad father, hit him, da 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 da. But he also showed all of the delicate bits to his dad as well. Like, I love the AA meeting bit when yeah. he's talking about his life and his crime. That's right. It wasn't too long as well. It really knew where to, because a lot of the film, like even with Joker, which I love, mm. it didn't quite know where to end No, it. you're right. And this film really knew where to end it. Like when it ended, I was like, oh, obviously it's made me love Shire even more. <laughs> so uh, I'll probably, I keep 10. I can't Whoa, pass it really. 10. And I loved all the magic realism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. score it low. Hey? You're going to score it low. I'm going to let you go next. I was so excited about <coughs> the trailer. Y you were, weren't you? This yeah. was the film almost you were most excited about yeah, this year. Yeah, definitely. I was so excited about it. So when Dad was like, we're seeing it, I was like, oh. um, Yeah, Shire's invited us. <laughs> Imagined. I'm, oh my God. I pee myself. Um, it was so brilliant. I loved every bit of it. I think Lucas Hedges was so amazing. I yeah, love was. Him. He's one of my favourite actors. Um, Noah Duke was just like, Quite perfect. Like, there was yeah. nothing wrong with his performance. I guess he had to say his name, Shire. Shire Booth. Yeah. yeah, he was brilliant as well. I loved him. And it really moved you, didn't it? I mean, I think yeah, of all the yeah, films... Was I was just like <laughs> crying the whole film. I still felt like crying when we came out as well. It really, yeah, it really impacted yeah. you. I mean, whenever I asked you, you were like, no, please don't leave. You needed to be left, <laughs> to be alone. You needed to be left alone, which is quite a testimony. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was just a lot. Like, nothing was wrong. And do you think part of that was because you were so... I mean, obviously you like all the actors, but is it usually that happens because you're so wanting something else for one of the characters, and I, mm. I guess it was for Noah Duke, yeah. you're sort of thinking, I want him to have a better life. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love the way it was shot. Um, and I loved all the weird bits in it, like you were saying, like the chicken. The chicken, yeah, it's such a lovely in. detail, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, um, so I, yeah, ten. Ten. Time. Boom! I just St wanted to say, loved the, the pie bit. The pie. Oh yeah, that was that was one of my favourite shots. Was it? I was going to say, did you so have some favourite shots? Like, well, the slow mo of the pie. Yeah. To have a Lucas Hedges storyline, something of him being pulled back and filming something, yeah. and then Noah Duke being pulled back yeah. by a pie in his face. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ten, ten. Oh my god, I felt a little bit of pressure. Here. Okay, um, I. I didn't have any concerns going into this. I love the <coughs> I love the trailer. I, I'm I I like you have always had a sort of begrudging like of Shia LaBeouf, even when I knew he was an arsehole. Because I, fig I figured, like your mum would often say, you know, it, it's very hard being a young mm. young child actor and coming to grips with it. So I always hoped he'd sort his shit out. And I think this film goes a long way to sorting shit out. I loved the connect. I thought it was a brilliant film about addiction. It was a brilliant film about recovery. I had the bit at the AA meeting. The bit at the AA meeting. Oh my god! I know. I was. I mean, there was there was a moment or two in there where him talking about what he was going through and how he was dealing with you know dealing with recovery and not dealing with recovery was so acutely took me back to everything I felt when I was going to AA meetings, all of the hopes that I had about being a dad, about being you know a parent, and 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 so it really you're right. It really sort of jabbed me in the ribs and reminded me actually of my own sobriety. It also made me think, 
what I managed to prevent you from experiencing in your dad. And I think that's the bit that caught me at that point was, you know, there's, a, there's something they call what ifs. You think about the what ifs when you stop drinking or stop taking drugs of, I could have been this, what if I'd carried on, what if I... And I, I looked at what was going on there and I thought there, there but for the grace of God go I, that I prevented that from happening to you. And I think you're right, that's why it became a very emotional, emotional watch for me. It had a lightness of touch, it wasn't syrupy, it wasn't sort of sickly sweet, it wasn't afraid to show the contradiction of, of a parent and of a relationship. It can be lovely and it can be awful. Mm. You know, those two things can sit alongside each other. It's not a contradiction and a film can cope with that. Yeah. Um, I thought Shia LaBeouf, at first I was a bit worried about him, and I realised within about 15 minutes, I'd forgotten he was playing his dad. I just accepted this as the dad of the boy. And I thought that was, that was a tribute to him, really, because it's a very hard thing to do. I thought there was great humour in the Lucas Hedges side of the story. And I liked that. I liked Gallo's humour about rehab and recovery. And I just thought it was an incredibly mesmerising, magical film. But for me, the absolute centrepiece of this film, if, if you want to indulge in a young actor acting the socks off virtually every other actor that's in a film this year, yeah. Noah Dupes the guy. Yeah. I, I've not seen a performance like this mm. since probably, um, what's the name of the boy, Henry Thomas in E.T.? When you think back to Elliot and the emotion he felt around it, forget it's E.T. He goes to such intensely real places of emotion. And this, this boy just goes there in a completely different way. I mean, it, it, a remarkable performance. Um, I think you're right. I won't go to 10 because I did feel there were a couple of creaky moments, such as the, the guys opposite. But I'm certainly, certainly give, give it a 1. No, a 9. Oh, my God. <laughs> a a 9.5 9. Okay. for sure. Okay. That's... Am I all right there? Am yeah. I still all right? Am I in the circle of trust? Yes. For more film and family fun, don't forget to click the subscribe button and make sure to click the bell to never miss an update.